Hi, I'm Waheb and this is Uzair. Hey. And this is the portable microscope we have been building for telemedicine applications like monitoring water quality, blood counts, or disease diagnostics in remote locations. As you can see, the microscope is small and portable. The device contains only a simple matrix of LEDs with a section of short uh, optical fibers and a very cheap microcontroller. It has no lenses or expensive optical components, making it cheap and lightweight. It's easy to use, and we rely on digital processing, which can be done on a laptop or remotely. Our microscope does not have lenses, so we cannot focus the image of the object on our camera sensor. Instead, we use a technique called holography, which lets us record a defocused image of the object, called a hologram, and then digitally process it to get a focused image of the object similar to a traditional microscope image. For example, this is what our sensor records for a hologram of a white blood cell, and here's what it looks like after processing. One advantage of the way we do holography is that we can image thousands of cells in one shot. The resolution of these images is good enough to distinguish between red blood cells and white blood cells, but we can improve on this by processing multiple images of the same object with an algorithm called Pixel Super Resolution. Pixel Super Resolution is a digital processing algorithm which allows using multiple low resolution images like video frames from a surveillance camera to create a single high resolution image like the one you see on the right here. The way we capture different holograms is by turning on different LEDs in our device. Each single hologram would give us the UCLA pattern image on the left, but combining them together with pixel super resolution gives the finer image on the right. The microscope we've built is robust and easy to use. It takes in a standard microscope cover slip using a tray, and the rest of the work is digital. An example of a real-world application for our device would be malaria diagnostics in remote locations. To show the potential in this device, we've imaged malaria parasites cultured in blood. As you can see here, we can distinguish the infected blood cells from the healthy ones. We hope that with the right set of algorithms, we can automate the detection and diagnostics of malaria and tackle other global health challenges.